More than a half a million Americans living on the streets, cities big and small, are struggling with an overwhelming homeless population. You've likely seen the change in your community in recent years. Well, the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada, may have found the solution, potentially setting the example for the rest of the country. Now, they've established what is called the Nevada Cares Campus. They did this back in 2021, city leaders and community members building this giant tent with dozens of sleeping pods that can house 600 people. Uh, the city was able to drop the number of people living on the streets by nearly 60%. Joining us right now, Reno Mayor Hillary Sheevy and Grant Denton, Executive Director of the Karma Box Project. And we have it on good authority. You both are so passionate about this. So we're so excited to talk to you both. Really quickly, Mayor Sheevy, you've been mayor there for almost a decade. How has the issue of homelessness impacted the community and what kind of change have you seen since this project? Well, as we all know, this is a national crisis. Um, quite honestly, you know, first of all, I think the way we combat this is first, we got to admit our failures, right? We don't do that enough in government. So what we realized is what we were doing is has been failing and a lot of cities are seeing that. Um, second of all, this is not a Democrat or Republican issue. This is a people issue. And so when you work together in a community regionally, because what affects our backyard is going to affect our neighbor's backyard. So we work amazing with our county partners, um, with Washoe County, with the city of Sparks. And so we're very lucky to have partners all rowing in the right direction. You see in Washington, they can get nothing done, but we can because we we put it down to people. It's um, an issue that affects all of us, whether you're homeless or not. The other thing we've become really good at is diagnosing the problem. One size doesn't fit all when it comes to someone experiencing homelessness. It could be mental health. It could be addiction. It could be a senior living on a tight fixed income. And then fourth, what we've really done is partnered with people who are phenomenal. You'll get to meet Grant here in a minute, so I'm really excited. It's the Karma Box Project, people from RISE. These are, this is the private sector who is really coming from lived experience. And so you have to listen to those people that have been there, that have done that, that have had the struggle. And once you start listening to them, you can make change. This, is, this change is vital. I mean, the fact is, is that more and more cities are being inundated by the cost of homelessness. Uh, Grant, you yourself actually lived uh, without being housed for quite some time. What's the difference between this project and other shelter projects? I think other shelter projects, I mean, I think they're operating off of an old model. An old model was situational homelessness, right? Somebody's in a situation, they lose their house, and they just need to get it's an emergency shelter. They just need to get to a place where they can have some respite, get some recovery, and then reintegrate. And um, But we're not dealing with situational homelessness anymore. We're dealing with behavioral homelessness as well, which is mental illness and drug addiction. So we have a lot more issues that we have to tackle. So we can't solve this behavioral issue with a situational model. Do you have, sense. no, it makes complete sense. Do you have people separated or how have you communicated with them, especially since you've had lived, lived experience with staying in this kind of a sheltered environment? Just because we've seen cases of people because of behavioral issues, because of drug addiction, because of, uh, of a number of things, they don't want to be around other people. So how are you actually approaching that? Well, we're, well it's, it comes down to being a good negotiator. Like, there's there's going to be other people on the streets. There's going to be other people here. And if you got to negotiate, like, what's going to be best for that individual? And the idea is that we get one them with us so we can work with them. And I think previously, um, we would expect individuals to wrap themselves around our programming. But here in Washoe County at the CARES campus, we wrap our programming around the individuals um, to identify, you know, what their needs are. Uh, Mayor Sheevy, what would you tell Mayor Adams or Mayor Karen Bass, two cities, a New York and L.A., that have seen just a huge influx of people who are homeless living on the streets? Absolutely. Well, I was just in L.A. last week, actually, with Mayor Bass. And to be honest with you, it's really challenging in those cities even more because the cost to build housing is so exorbitant. Just to put a door um, in those cities is about a million dollars. And so they have a whole other set of problems. But part of that is what we've uncovered is regulations. They need to understand how to cut the red tape. 
I'm very hopeful for Mayor Bass. Um, she's really doing some great things in her city. And But we're looking at the cost. The cost is outrageous, but a lot of that has to do with regulations that we don't have here in Nevada. So if they really want to make a difference, they're going to have to cut the government red tape. And that Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.